Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a PTR Industries 32P, chambered in 762 by 39. This is a very small, I don't want to say lightweight because it's over seven and a half pounds, but it's a close quarter combat or even you can reach out if, if you have to, but it's a very compact firearm. It is very similar to the PTR 51P, chambered in 762 by 51 but it ships just like this and the cool thing is that it has this end cap now if you decide to SBR it or put a, a any AR style buffer tube on there you can put a pistol brace on it if you keep it as is has this sling mount and another one up top there to run a sling it has an eight and a half inch barrel and then on top here, it has a seven and a half inch Picatinny rail. To spend a lot of time with this, I would definitely use a dot because it has this roller rear sight system with various apertures, sizes of holes, I should say, and then a hooded front sight. It's fine, but when I took it to the range, there were a lot of people at the range. I wanted to reach out and touch the targets from 100 plus yards. I really couldn't do that, so basically I shot into the berm and it was fine. I had no issues whatsoever with the 7.62x39. Now this has a delayed blowback system. And what that means is that the rollers that they rest on are angled surfaces to delay the bolt operating, which prevents the barrel from recoil. And, and basically what that is, and we're seeing that more and more, delayed blowback system, is that it reduces the recoil. The pistol brace addition with the buffer tube would be a nice touch. There's no doubt about that. But I mentioned it has an eight and a half inch barrel. There is the flash hider. You could take that off and run a can, which would definitely be a good choice. Polymer handguard, all aluminum frame. The charging system is right here. It's kind of tight sometimes. Sometimes it just pulls out right there. And then it is, you can put it right there, load up your mag and Slap it down to load around. Very common. Here's the mag. It comes with one P mag. All right. And then there's a look at the grip safety switch. Now the firearm is unloaded. You're looking at between a nine and a ten pound trigger. You know it's it's a bit on the heavy side, but. PTR claims, well, there's the reset. PTR claims that that is done intentionally because, well, I guess a heavy trigger pull shouldn't throw you off too much. But you're looking at a very compact PDW. You're wondering, what is the MSRP? You're looking at $1,849 for this. All right, we'll take a look at the other side. All right, so ideally, you want to put an optic on here and you want to put a brace in my opinion i would do that before i sbr'd it just because of government issues but it is extremely well built it offers anything somebody would want out of a x39 firearm that is very short the overall length on this is 23 and a half inches so just shy of two feet and we'll get it on the scale here take a look because they claim it is seven and a half pounds without the mag you're looking at 7.15 almost 7.16 i'll dial down this light that's showing 8.6 here are 20 rounds of herders you're looking at nine pounds two and a quarter ounces so just over nine pounds with 20 rounds what would 40 rounds be that's a good question you're looking at nine pound 14 ounces so just shy of 10 pounds so it does have some weight behind it and when i shot this you may notice that the the forend jumps around a little bit it was not hard to get back on target but what would be ideal is to put the brace on there that's how i would run it with an optic because it just seems to be a little jumpy when shooting but you put that brace on there and it wouldn't cost much either it wouldn't cost much at all you just screw that off and put a buffer tube on there and you could run a brace 
put an optic on there and shoot all day long. So with the eight and a half inch barrel, you're getting a lot of the benefits of a rifle, minus some barrel length. The magazine rocks in just like an AK. And then the magazine release is right in front of the trigger guard. You just rip it out. Many of you are wondering, will it take AK mags? Yes, it will. It will take all the steel AK mags that you could possibly feed the P32. It does offer quite a bit. I know a lot of people say 1849 is a lot, but when you look at firearms in, in this category, chambered in this round or others, just look at AKs. They have really skyrocketed in the last 10 years. It was not uncommon to pick up an AK for under 500 bucks. Not anymore. So they, they are a bit pricey, but those who love 762 by 39 would really dig this. And I think that PTR does a great job with their rifles. You know, they have, they have essentially the same thing in rifle form, but they also have it in 7.62x51, and this one's in 7.62x39. So if you love this type of pistol, and you love that round, which I do, what's not to love about 7.62x39? Outside of the fact that it's getting harder to come by, simply because of the Russian bands and all that, but it, 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 you would love this because it is small, I don't want to say lightweight, but easy to tote around, and for those who want a, a rifle caliber round in a short, compact structure like this, you're doing okay with the PTR 32P. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.